who is the tenth child. Who? Tenth child of ninth. Ruth. Ninth. Ninth. Yeah. Ninth. Ninth child of Ruth and John Joseph Enright. Um, it's really nice to see everybody today. Gosh, now I've got more relations. I thought I had this before, but gosh, it's getting better. And that's wonderful. Um, so I'd like to welcome you all to here today. I'm a little bit familiar, not so much probably with Broadwood, but Pauringa. My father is now buried there. Um, just to just to tell you a quick little story about uh, what I remember from my childhood. A child of probably five or six, when my father would take his holidays, we <coughs> he was on the New Zealand railways. So we were forever moving yeah. from place to place every time we got a promotion. So when he had a holiday, which was probably once a year, if, if he ever decided he was ever going to take a holiday, we would come back to Pawaringa. But if it happened to fall in the time during school, he'd send us to the convict. Oh. <laughs> no holiday for us. We had to keep going to school. My grandparents, Bertha and uh, Jack, Jack and Peter, they live at the top of the hill. That's right. You'll see it tomorrow when we go to Pawaringa. Quite a, quite a steep hill. Um, so the homestead was up there, and my brother and I would leave every morning. My mum would make our lunch, get us all dressed, send us off to school. Down the hill we'd go. We'd leave it about 8 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, plenty of time to get to school before 9 o'clock. Well, I remember the nuns. Sister Peter, <laughs> Sister Peter at 10 o'clock every morning, she'd be ringing my mother. Where are your kids? My mother said, my sister, I sent them to school at 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> and she said, hang on a minute. I think my grandmother used to go to the edge of the hill, look down. My brother would be catching tadpoles. <laughs> I'd be waltzing around the hill picking flowers. And we would be school was the furthest thing from our mind. So those are my wonderful childhood memories, <laughs> many more of piloting us. Sure. Never getting to school until lunchtime. <laughs> Getting there and having my lunch pinched by somebody who was trying to me, and then having my uncle Sammy come down the hill on the horse to pick us up and holding on to the tail, reading the paper while my brother and I sat on the horse and ran up the hill. I'd like to relate one of my father's many, well, he never told us a lot of stories. But I'll never forget, my husband loves, well, used to love to fish, still does, but doesn't get too much time. My father loves fish. Mm -hmm. Anybody from this area mm -hmm. loves fish. Mm -hmm. Been brought up on fish. Yeah. Anyway, I used to, uh, Dad was telling my husband one day, you know, how he used to catch fish as a child, because he was the oldest son of how many children? Uh, how many? Thirteen. Thirteen children. The oldest child of thirteen children. So while my grandfather was busy doing cows or whatever he was doing, my grandmother was busy probably doing the cows as well, my father would